So hi everyone, uh, welcome to the C programming course. And I'm Anam Saimanohar and a second year student at Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Currently undertaking my bachelor's in computer science and engineering. And I'm a campus leader at Code for Course. Now we're going to jump into our today's agenda. And we first we're going to look into the history and then we're going to look into the various C use and then we're going to jump into the Y lens C and then how C programming works and then finally we're going to look into the installation and setup part for our editor. The first step is uh, history. So the history about C programming is uh, uh, Dennis Richards, the founder of C programming language, developed C in the year 1972 at Bell Laboratories. USA. Uh, this is a history about the C programming language. Now we are going to look into the very C use. Uh, for example, we have a lot of things where C was involved and uh, for example the operating system, uh, example Windows, Mac, Linux, uh, OS was developed using C programming language and also the desktop application like Adobe are developed using C programming language. Uh, and Coming to the Y Len C programming language. C helps you to understand the internal architecture of a computer, how computers store and retrieve the information. Uh, not only internal architecture, even for example, if you can take the Python programming language, uh, where in Python programming language, everything is abstracted. Uh, whereas in C, like you can you can learn a lot of things uh, like uh, as a beginner you can learn a lot of things if you start with a uh, c programming language whereas in python everything is abstracted you can't know everything like each and every line uh, how uh, actually it's work internally uh, whereas in c programming language you can you can learn a lot of things uh, like even there is a, uh, you can learn a lot of things like how it actually works in a background everything you can learn in the c programming language as a beginner like everyone suggests you to learn c programming language uh, because of you can learn a lot of things uh, whereas in other programming language you can't learn all those things so that is why everyone suggests c programming language to learn uh, now coming to the and also the final like uh, you can there is one, one more step that is like open source projects you can do a lot of open source projects uh, with c programming language and you can get a lot of uh, real time experience with uh, working in a in an open source project like for example you can take also the linux uh, and then and i can just type the github so you can take this uh yeah he can get this uh, linux so everything is developed using c program language most of the uh code was involved with c so that is like you can do a lot of things uh, not only this linux there are a lot of open source projects uh, you can work with c using c programming language everything you can do with uh, c and uh, now coming to the how c programming works actually so yeah if you can take like once you done with the writing the source code or the program whatever you write the program and uh, how actually it works internally i'm going to we're going to look into right now uh, like after you write the source code or program uh, like once you're done with the program and you just have to uh, once you're done with the program and then we're going to compile the source code once you compile the code Actually, it's going to convert the uh, into assembly code. That is assembly code or assembly language, and uh, assembly language is convert into binary code. That is zeros and ones, which is a uh, machine readable language, and uh, the binary code and and the libraries uh, which are actually like whatever we have already uh, included in our uh, program in our source code. Yeah, so it's because we already included some header files, some libraries or modules, whatever we already included it previously. And all those libraries and the binary code, everything is going to match together using the linker. Using the linker and everything is going to match into one file. And that file is going to uh, the .exe file or executable file. And even I will show this uh, .exe file once, I, once we install this compiler or editor like that we're going to do in our next slide and uh, where i will also show it once i done with that uh, like installation part i will also write some basic program and then i will also show this uh, .exe file in my local system how it's going to store and everything 
so where you can go in, like once you're done with all this uh, source code assembly code binary code and everything is converted into the .exe file and everything is going to merge into one file and that file is going to be the .exe file and that going to be that uh, .exe file we going to run that that uh, .exe file that we going to run and we'll get the output for our particular source code so now we're going to jump into the uh, installation and setup part so for installing the setup part uh, you have to head out to the uh, the code blocks like we're going to use the code blocks uh, editor in our, in our uh, in our course so we have to head out to the code and then type the code blocks code blocks download just tab it in your google mm -hmm. oh, and just this is the first link you have to open the first link and then now we just go to this uh, download the binary release click this button and then you can find all the operating system which are operating system that you are using you just go to this and um, whereas now i'm using the my uh, windows so i'm going to download the windows version uh, so for windows version you have to download this uh, minji w setup.exe file uh, you have to download it and then uh, you have to click on this sourceforge.net you have to look into this correct path that is code blocks dot uh, whatever the version it may be you have to minji w and setup dot exe and then click this source forge dot net that going to be open in open the new website and uh, within four to five seconds it's going to down we start the downloading hmm. yeah so now it's, uh, it's, it's started downloading and once you download this thing you have to head over to the path like uh, where you have set your path like you have to go to your uh, into your local system i'll just cancel like how where like where this actually uh, this code blocks well the setup path was installed you have to check into the uh, like if you if you don't know how to check where exactly the chrome is going to download in your in your computer or your laptop then just have to click on this three uh three dots and go to the settings and now scroll down now you can just click on this advance here uh so now where you can see the downloads here the location so actually it defaults user download c so if you want to like you can also change it or you like whatever the if you are in your system like what what is exactly uh you can also check the path uh where like where this uh code blocks set up path were installed exactly you can check look into this uh path and then open it in all your local system and then i'm going to open it my in you know, my local system i have downloaded it in downloads so here, here is the setup path. I have to I'll just click on this and just open it. So now uh, it will work. So you have to do click on this next and I agree next. And then you have to choose your path where you want to install this, this code blocks on your system. I just uh, leave it as default. And then I'll just click on this install. Uh, it will take it will take a few seconds to install in your system uh, once you're done with that uh, and then you can directly open the code blocks and then you have to do some settings on code blocks that i'm going to show show with you now once i it's got installed mm. so yeah wait for seconds It will take a while to install it in your system. Um,
so now click on the else button and then the next and finish that's it so now we have installed the code block successfully and it will automatically going to open the, or else you can search it in your um, search pad like code blocks anyways you can open it So now the this is the code blocks editor. So now we have to do uh, now we have to do some setting part here. Now click on this setting icon here over here and then go to the compiler and then go to here on this like here. now we are in the compiler setting button. Now just go to this tool chain executable. Click on this option, and now uh, you have to look into the, all these things: the gcc.exe, gplus.exe, gplus, and everything is like just check whether everything is uh, is same as mine. If not, you have to click on this uh, three dots here, and then you have to it's going to head over to the the direct uh, the folder where you have already installed your compiler, and then you can open the like the exact uh, file what is mine uh just open this just select all those things and everything is fine, well and good then click on this okay button and and again go to the settings and go to the debugger and uh, actually debugger will help us to trace our program step by step so it's better if you could also uh, set up this as well and uh, so and even here as well the executable path if it is uh, is already showing the path then it's fine if not you have to select the gdb.exe file uh, again you have to click on this three three dots and then you have to select the gdb uh, uh, this is gdb.exe and then click on this and then it can open if everything is uh, already default then it's fine you can click on this ok button now we're going to create a new project uh, by just clicking on this uh, this button or else again you can click on this thing file and then uh, new and project now now click on the console application and go now select your language even this uh, this editor is going to support the c++ as well you can select the choose your language and then give a title and which title you want to give and just uh, give a sample dot c and i'm going to select the path uh, on my text talk. yeah now we're going to open this just click on this s button and then double click on this my dot c yeah so this is the default code which comes on your compiler so um, and actually we're not going to do any any coding part right now uh we just have to look onto this like whether we have successfully installed our compiler or not by just clicking on this button like uh, the build and the run or else even you can go to this uh, build and then click on the build and run so now it's printing the hello world so we have successfully installed the Compiler and forgot about all this, uh, all this syntax and everything. Uh, this about uh, about the code and everything. Uh, we're going to look into everything, each and everything, in coming, in coming videos. So right now, as of now, whether just check whether it is working on your system or not. The code blocks is working on your system or not. So if not, just uh, rewatch the video and then do it accordingly. Uh, that's all from today's agenda so thank you guys for having here and watching the video and uh, so and we'll meet on the coming lectures so thanks for uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, if you like our work then please subscribe share and like code for course youtube channel thank you